Hey you guys, this is Shanita. Thank you so much for clicking onto another video. I appreciate you stopping by. As you can see, it is wash day and I am getting ready to do my deep conditioning session. I've already washed and conditioned my hair and I am trying a new deep conditioner today and I am so excited about it. So I wanted to bring you guys along for my first impressions and review. I've never had anything from this brand before and so I have the curls and potions Shebe and mint collection this is their Shebe hydration mask I recently did a haul of a few items from curls and potions and I am thrilled to finally be able to do this video so if you are interested in watching my demo and seeing the review of what I think about it then stay tuned okay I almost forgot to come back on I was listening to a book and got entrenched and almost forgot I'm on my last section here I normally try to come on and show you guys the um, final section of my deep conditioning session well first of all let's talk about this deep conditioner um, I've gotten it all dirty now but it is their Shebe hydration mask and it features mango butter kapuasu butter Shebe powder and maru maru butter listening to some of the ingredients was one of the main reasons I wanted to try it it just sounded like it would be moisture heaven it says that it is a mix of oils and butters blended with herbal infused water to give any texture the hydration it needs. Easy to comb through and detangle all textures to ensure no strand is left behind. And I love that. If you have seen any of my other videos, then you know I am a deep conditioner nut. I am obsessed with deep conditioners. I have an entire deep conditioner stash series on this channel where I show you all of the deep conditioners in my stash in episodes. Uh, I had to break it up so that the video would end up being three hours long. So if you've never been here before, then please make a note and be sure to go back and check out those. So the last thing I needed was a deep conditioner, but when I buy from a brand the first time, a deep conditioner is the first thing I want to try. To me, it is the basis of how much moisture I can expect from the brand as a whole. So as I am putting on this deep conditioner, you guys, I am generally very heavy handed. That is also something else I say in my videos. I'm heavy handed because I like to make sure, like this conditioner says, that no strand is left behind. I am a believer in that concept. And also because I have so many deep conditioners, I need to go through them fast so I don't mind you know really slobbering it on so I can go ahead and get rid of the deep conditioner but this is one you guys I am using very sparingly I'm trying to think of another one that I've used so sparingly first of all because it glided on to my hair I took some as usual I put it all around the section and then I went in between the sections and then I am at the point now where I would typically uh, just add a little bit more to the ends and so as you can see this is kind of dry but look what happens when I add this deep conditioner okay couple things first of all as I put it into my hair, it has completely and almost instantly absorbed into my hair strands. These sections here, you don't see, they're coming down. Uh, there is no white residue left on top of my hair. All of the conditioner has absorbed completely inside my hair strands and honestly, in the back session sections I was a little heavy-handed I mean I did start it that way because that's just how my brain is wired to just slather on deep conditioner but once I realized by the time I got to the middle section that I couldn't see the conditioner back here I realized okay the conditioner is disappearing it is instantly absorbing in and when I went back to literally feel what my hair felt like it feels so smooth. It feels so, so.
soft and moisturized until I just know that I do not have to use a lot. So I put some in this last section and again as you can see it has completely absorbed in um, i put the conditioner in and just when i've gotten it all in i detangle because i have not done any detangling i did a little bit as i was rinsing out my rinse out conditioner but this is where i really get to detangle the um, deep conditioner is usually the product with the most slip. So to me, it just makes more sense during this time to do the detangling. And first of all, uh, have I said first of all three more? I don't know what of all I am at this point. Third of all, this thing is fantastic if you don't have one of these detangling brushes that pulls apart as it, is, as it is detangling your hair you need to get one I know that there is one all over Instagram I don't know if this is I think this is similar to that it's definitely not that because this is the um, brush I got from curls and potions but this thing is incredible Oh, uh, when I was rinsing my hair and detangling in the shower, I got so much detangled hair out of my hair sections when I was rinsing it. I was like, oh my gosh, have I not been getting all of the hair out? I know I've never gotten 100% of it out during any wash day, even when I'm styling at the end. There's always a little bit left to uh, detangle, but in the shower, there was so much hair. By the time I got to the point where I was adding this deep conditioner, like I was getting hardly any shed hair in the brush because this thing picked up so much of the uh, tangled hair in the shower until by the time I get to this point, I don't have a lot. So of course this notably makes the um, rest of the wash day process go so much smoother. Cause usually even at this part, when I'm you know twisting my hair to put in these bantu knots, I normally get some shared hair at every step of the process. I normally get shed hair. This is the first time I really feel like I got all of the shed hair out during my conditioning session. And so anything that's left, anything, um, will definitely come out during the rinse out of this deep conditioner. I am a thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. And for those of you who've watched me do this before, get ready for your socks to be blown off. This is an eight ounce jar. Look how much deep conditioner I've got left. Typically I can use an eight ounce jar of deep conditioner maybe two times, maybe two times. Usually I can do one and a half because of the way that I coat it on my hair. But um, usually you can just tell. I can't even give you the words to describe how it feels when you know you have enough. You can just feel it. And so like with this, it was so smooth. Every single strand was defined. It was shiny. It felt amazing to the touch. Uh, it detangled so easily and I barely, barely scratched the surface. So for the first time, my gosh, I'm going to probably get three, four uses out of this. Like, I don't know how to act. I don't, I, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. This stuff melts on contact. This is amazing. I already know I'm going to love this. It already feels amazing on my hair and my hair feels so um, moisturized. I know it's going to be so hydrated. I got so much slip just putting it on. So I can't wait to see what it's like once I add some heat to it and then rinse it out. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. If you have tried Curls and Potions the hydration mask before or any of their products, please tell me what you know about them. They are brand new to me and 
I don't get this hype about too many companies. The fact that this one is black owned and operate, operated, these pure natural ingredients just make my heart palpitate. This is fantastic and I already know that. So I would love to know what you have used from them before and um, what else I should try from the brand. I know, like really nothing. I should try nothing. But once I get that deep conditioner and I know it's good, I'm always curious about what else in the line is going to be good. It is perfect for all hair types. You can just see that. My hair is usually coarse and it is dry. And when I can get something to go onto my hair to instantly define it, like my hair looked like it was a whole nother texture. It looked more 3C-ish. I could see curls and coils that I've never seen before. Definitely in places that I've never seen before. Okay, so I've hyped this up to the max. Let's just hope it lives up to all the hype I've given it. We will see because I will be back after I have sat under my um, deep conditioning cap for about 20 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna rinse it out and then I'll come back and I'll let you know what so I think. So I am back and I have been with this turby twist on my hair for too long. I generally like to come right away and at least get leave-in in my hair and I've been sitting with this thing under my head now for ooh, probably 30, 35 minutes and so it has absorbed a lot of the water in my hair already. But this is uh, right after rinsing out that deep conditioner. And oh, I wanted to give you guys a fresh wet shot of what my hair looked like. And I'm not gonna be able to get that <laughs> because it has dried so much. Oh, I hate that. I was thinking about that and I was trying to rush and finish up what I was doing, but no wet shot, I'm so sorry, but Stick around, I really wanna let you know how my experience went. So you guys, I am back. This is going to be the conclusion of what I think about the Curls and Potions Shebe Hydration Mask. I hope I can do this justice, you guys. This stuff is completely supernatural. <laughs> I love this so much. So, so much. Um, so I went under the hair dryer for 30 minutes with my heating cap um, on top of my plastic cap. And you know how I talked about as I was smoothing it on how good it felt how it absorbed into my hair. So for me, deep conditioners need to do two things. It needs to hydrate my hair, it needs to really moisturize it. I want the goodness of all of the moisture from those ingredients to absorb into my hair strands so that my hair is soft and it is pliable and it has soaked up all the nutrients from those ingredients in that deep conditioner so that from the inside it is completely hydrated and it can handle anything at that point after then and that is going to stay moisturized for the entire week. Secondly, I want it to put a moisture coating on top of my hair that is going to make my hair smooth. It is going to allow it to detangle easily. It is going to allow me to be able to separate it easy. And okay, I said two. Th number three, I want it to make my hair um, strong. I want it to be able to make it elastic enough that when I go to comb it or brush it, it's strong enough that it can handle that sort of friction. Because believe it or not, some moisturizers just moisturize your hair and then you can go to handle it after then and find that it is still breaking. It does not have ingredients to make the hair strong. So what I can tell you about this mask is you saw for yourself that it instantly absorbed in my hair. When you put a conditioner on your hair and it instantly absorbs in, you know that your hair is going to be moisturized. I mean, it does that instantly. So imagine once you put heat into it, it just continues to just 
squeeze all of that moisture into your hair strands to make your hair moisturize and make it soft. This absolutely did that. It also uh, provided my hair the smoothness and the slip that I needed to be able to use my detangling brush to brush through it. I was able to, of course I always start from the end, detangling my hair and my final few strokes are literally from the root pulling the hair all the way to the ends. Not only was this brush brilliant in doing that, and I would do a separate video about that, but this mask was able to glide through my hair like silk. And the third one, it made it so strong. As I was rinsing out the uh, deep conditioner, what I saw was that, you know how you normally rinse out a conditioner, and as you're rinsing the conditioner out of your hair, you can see in the drain the white, I don't wanna call them suds, they're not suds, but the white residue, the actual conditioner rinsing down the drain. You can see the white substance, the white cream actually going down the drain. When I rinse this out, the water was instantly clear. I looked down the drain, there was nothing visible there. There was no cream, there was no um, residue that I could see that was rinsing off of the hair. My hair felt, it was soft, but it was strong. You know that, it, oh gosh, guys, it's so hard to put into words. So my hair felt like I could handle it and not get any issues with it. And I did not. It was very, very strong, but it was soft. I feel, this is such an oxymoron. It feels so bizarre. I hope you guys have the words. I hope you can understand what I'm talking about. And I got to thinking after then, how does my hair feel strong? Why is it I'm rinsing this out and I don't see any of the remnants of the conditioner? And so, um, I looked up this Chevy powder. I went to look in the ingredients, of course, to see what these were. Well, we know the mango butter, the kapuasu butter, the maru maru butter, the um, oils in it, the acetyl alcohol, the BMTS. Like these are all moisturizers, emulsifiers, and um, humectants that just make up the formulation for the um, mask to work well. But the Chevy powder, I thought maybe that's the difference. I've not used anything with that in it yet. I have a few other things, but I haven't used them yet. And of course, Chevy is one of those items that makes your hair stronger. It makes it strong. When your hair is strong, when you touch it or when you brush it, or when you comb it, you're not gonna find all that breakage that happens on the ends of your hair. And if it's not breaking, then as your hair continues to grow from the scalp, then you can see that you're actually retaining the length and your hair is growing long. I could tell that my hair was strong from touching it. That is just something you have to experience. I don't know how to put into words how to get you to feel your hair, to feel that it is strong. That Chevy powder also makes your hair strong. It just gives it a little bit of strength so that you can manipulate it after them without a lot of other, um, without a lot of breakage. But my hair was moisturized. The fact that there was nothing going through the drain told me that my hair had soaked up all of the conditioner. So it was soft, it was moisturized, it had slipped, my hair was strong, it was hydrated, it was everything you could want in a deep conditioner. It also uh, has spearmint oil in it, so once you open it, you could smell the mint in it. It wasn't so minty that I could feel you know, the stimulation on the scalp. A lot of people say they don't like that. I love it personally but I can smell it in here. So it has this minty smell to it and it just smells good. So again, I'm gonna let you see how little of it I use. And I think once you get a deep conditioner that actually absorbs into your hair, you can tell exactly where the conditioner 
is on your hair you can tell that you don't need any more that you have enough you can use your hands and you know slide the conditioner down your hair from the roots to the ends and see that your hair looks wet you can see that the ends have clearly got uh, conditioner on it and so um, So you don't end up overusing it. And I now realize that that is why I use so much conditioner from other brands. I slather it on because I can't tell that my hair has enough. That's what I'm, that's the words I'm looking for. I can't tell that that is sufficient enough deep conditioner because nothing is happening on the surface of my hair. I'm just having to rub and coat this stuff onto my hair. But with this, because it went in, absorbed into my hair instantly, my hair was shiny when it was on. It had that, you know, wet look, but I could see no white residue on the top of my hair. So I know that my hair absorbed every bit of this. Um, absolutely, I would get this again. This goes up in my top five deep conditioners top five and you know that's saying something for me it is that good it is that good I I don't know what else to say I think if you know anything about me if you've seen any of my videos and you know how I feel about deep conditioners telling you this is in my top five should tell you everything I know that they have several other conditioners in their um, line and I would love to try some of the others, but I'm going to use this up and I'm going to go and use some of those that was in my uh, deep conditioner series stash and try to use up some of those older ones, but this will always be in my top favorites. Come Black Friday when they have a sale at the end of the year. I am stocking up on this. I want to know if you've used this before, you guys. Have you known about this and not told me about it? I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to be very upset if you knew about it and nobody said a word. So go ahead and fess up and let me know down below what you've used from the company and what I need to try next. Um, everything I have tried from them so far has been wonderful. I still have the style of gel left to try and I'm going to maybe next wash day. I'll do a wash and go with the gel and see how that ends up. But either way, stay tuned you guys and then you will be able to see what is going on. Subscribe if you have not. I appreciate your time and your attention. Please be sure to let me know um, if you have any spirits with curls and potions and let me know what you've used or the you know customer service any interaction you've had with them whatsoever i would love to know about it this has been a wonderful wonderful wash day and you all know what i mean about that don't you love it when it goes just wonderfully from beginning to end it is a spiritual experience almost so you guys take care thank you so much for watching tune in for tomorrow's video i hope you guys are taking care and staying safe and i will see you later until next time bye bye